Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is SQL interview questions and answer series. Today we are going to look into few of the interview questions which are most asked. So here we have been given an input table where we have two tables. Department table where we have department ID, department name. So here we have three departments, one, two and three, HR, engineering and sales. Then we have a employees table. We have employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, salary and date hired. And we have eight records here. Now the questions are, we need to find the top three highest paid employees in each department. So department wise, we need to find the top three highest paid employees. Then we need to find the average salary of employees hired in the last five years. Then we need to find the employees whose salary is less than the average salary, less than the average salary of employees hired in the last five years. So we are going to use the solution of part two to get part three. Let's go to SQL and check how we can do it. Okay, so I have already written the query to create the de table departments and employees and insert the values. Let's run this. So this is the department table. We are creating a department table. Then we are creating a employees table. Then we are inserting the values in department table. Then we are inserting the values in the employees table. Now let's check our table. So for that. We can directly write select start from employees, then select start from departments. So let's run this. So we created this table. Let me drag this up a little. Employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, salary and date hire. So there are eight records in the table. Now let's check our department table. Let me run this. So we have department ID and department name. Now the first part of the questions, right? We need to find the top three highest paid employees in each department. So we are going to solve it step by step. So part one of the question, right? Find the top three highest paid employees in each department. So for that, we need to join the employees and department table. And as we can see in employees table, we have department ID. In department tables as well, we have department ID. So we'll be joining both the tables using department ID. Now to do that, select E dot. So we will be giving employee table alias as E and department table alias as D. So we are going to get the values through E dot employee ID, E dot department ID like that. So E dot, so from employees table, we want all these columns. So E dot employee ID, comma E dot first name, comma e dot last name comma e dot department id comma e dot salary comma e dot date hired department table we only want the department name so d dot department name now employees table and we will be giving it a alias as e now we are going to write join departments and we'll be giving it as a alias on here we need to write on which condition we want to join this table so we want to join it by department id so on e dot department id equal to d dot department id now if we run this query we will be getting Okay, we are getting an error because here we need to write end, right? Okay, now let's run this. So we got our table. So employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, salary, date hired and department name as well. So this was the first step. So in step one, what we did? Step one, join the table. Now we are going to step two, where we are going to rank the employees in each department using row number. Okay, to do that, so we are going to need all of this. 
let's copy this so here we simply what we'll do is before from employees right we are going to use the row number function so it's a window function row number is a window function where we are going to get the rank of employees in each department so after d dot department name we'll put one comma and we'll write row underscore number then over inside the bracket partition right e dot department id and order by e dot salary descend and we'll give it as a alias rank now if we run this we'll get the rank of employees within each department so let's run this let me drag this up a little okay now we got employee id first name last name department id salary data head, department name and rank so inside hr who are the top three employees based on salary so we got henry bob and alice inside engineering who are the top three brown wilson and williams and inside sales we have davis and miller so through rank we got the top three employees within each department now in the given table right we have only few employees within each department so in hr we had only three so the obviously top three will be coming with rank suppose if we have more than three employees how can we get the top three employees so for that what we could do is we can use a cte function so we'll put all this under a cte then after that we are going to filter it by rank so in step three we are going to filter the employees in each department okay to do that we are going to need this so what we are going to do is we will copy and paste this and we are going to put this under a city so with we are going to name the city as ranked employee we put a bracket all this query from select till dot d dot department id will be inside the bracket after this we just need to write a simple query select we want all this right all these things so we'll copy this we'll paste it here we don't need e here now because we are going to get this value from the city so let's remove e now so the city is ranked employee so we need to write from ranked employee where rank less than equal to three now if we run this query we'll get the top three employees okay we are getting an error because with ranked employee as we need to write it as so now if we run this we are going to get the desired output so we got the desired output based on the ranks so these three employees are the top three employees based on salary in hr then these three are the top three in engineering these two are the top three in sales because there are only two employees now suppose we only want the top employees in each department so the highest paid employee in hr highest paid employee in sales highest paid employee in H in engineering then what we could do is we can just put where rank less than equal to one and we can run this query now if we check we'll get henry is the highest paid employee in hr david is highest highest paid employee in engineering eve is highest paid employee in sales so this is how you can get the top employees using row number and cte functions in sql so this is the final query in step three what we find out these three are the steps to how to do it so whenever you are writing a query it's easier to break it down into smaller steps so that it will be easier to write the query as well as 
you will get the practice of how you got to that step, final query. So first, we need to join the table. Then we need to rank the employees. Then we are going to filter the employees based on the rank. I hope it's clear. Now let's go to the part two of our question, which is find the average salary of employees hired in last five years. So here we are going to use the date functions. So in this part, right, what we are going to do it in step one, we are going to filter the employees hired in the last five years. Then we are going to calculate the average salary. So to do that, we are going to use a function called current debt. So we are going to write select star employees table where now we are going to give the filter condition. So the column from which we are going to filter is date hired. So we are going to write date hired greater than equal to current underscore date. So this is the function we are using current date minus interval five years. Now let's run this. So these are the employees which are hired in the last five years. So I'm using PostgreSQL. That's why I'm using the current date function here. If you are using SQL or MS SQL, you can use the date add and get date function. Okay, now for step two, let's calculate the average. It's very simple. We can use the aggregate function average, select ABJ salary from employees table. Now this filter condition, right? We'll put this filter condition here. Now if we run this, we are getting the average salary, which is 66,000. But there are so many points after decimal, right? So we are going to round this up. So to round this up, you can simply write round inside average salary. Now if we run this, we got 66,000. Now, if you want till decimal point, that also you can do. So after average salary, just put comma and put two. So the average salary is 66,000.00. So after two, you can run this query. So we'll get be getting 66,000.00 as the output. This is our average salary. Now for part three, right? Find the employees whose salary is less than the average salary of employees hired in the last five years. For that, it's very simple. We'll copy this. Now, select everything from employees table where now we are going to give the condition where salary is less than. Now, inside bracket, we are going to pass this query. Now, if we run this, we'll be getting the employees whose salary is less than the average salary. So these are the four employees whose salary is less than the average salary, which is 66,000, right? Let me check it again. 66,000. So these employees have salary less than the average salary. I hope you got the idea how we solve these three parts of the questions in a step-by-step -step manner. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.